Hi, welcome to PT Dance Videos. I'm Zahin Singh and today we're going to be talking about the differences between training different muscle groups and how it's directly related to recovery periods and if your recovery periods in your program is not accurate, how can that relate to overtraining? Uh, this question was asked to us or the, the type of video was uh, asked to be done by uh, Fad Smashers. So this one's directly for you, my man. Uh, thank you very much for um, putting in this request. So let's have a quick chat about recovery. Firstly, you have to understand, guys, that recovery is the most important part of your training. You grow out of the gym, not in the gym. And what this means is that when you go into the gym and you train hard, you break down your muscle fibers. When you go home, that's when your body adapts to the gym's environment. That's how you adapt to your training. And that's where you grow bigger and stronger. It's where you eat right, sleep right, take your good nutrition, take your supplements and put your muscle tissue all back together again, bigger and stronger than how it was before. So your recovery period is the most important part. And this is why most people fail. They train really hard, but then when they go home, they eat crap, don't get the right nutrition, don't sleep right, stress too much, they don't get their recovery, and then they wonder why they don't get their results. So now that we understand that, you have to also understand now, going into the next part, that different muscles recover at different speeds. Now there are a range of different reasons why, and in this video we will start to discover those reasons. So the first thing we'll talk about is size. The more muscle mass you have, the more of that mass and the more fibers you can break down during your workout. That means that it's going to take longer for it to repair. Let's take a big muscle and a small muscle into consideration here. Let's take your biceps versus your quads. Your biceps are much smaller than your quads. My biceps aren't the biggest in the world, but my, my biceps are recovered in maybe three days. Now my quads are recovered in five. So my quads take five days to recover, my biceps take about three days to recover. So because they recover at different times, um, you must program your weekly routine based on the muscle that takes the longest period to recover. So let's say for example I did a three day split. So I trained legs day one, sorry lower body day one, upper body day two, day three I had off. So I'm training the same muscles every three days. But my legs take four or five days to recover and I'm training it every three days then that means they're not going to get enough time to recover and this is what leads into overtraining. If I did the other way around, just say for example that my biceps um, take three days to recover and I train them once a week, then this leads into another problem. And this is where we're going to expand on things a little bit more in this training, in this, in this video. Most people learn from bodybuilders who weigh 120, 130, 140 kilograms, and they learn from their programs through magazines. So they read a magazine, they read a bodybuilder saying that they train legs every Monday. So what do people do? People go and train legs every Monday. Now think about this guys, if you train legs every Monday, you would be recovered by Wednesday, Thursday, let's take Thursday. So you train legs on Monday, they're recovered on Thursday, but you train legs every week on Monday. You've wasted Friday, you've wasted Sunday, sorry Saturday, you've wasted Sunday, and then your Monday you had it again. You've just wasted four days in the week, every single week. You're wasting half of the time. So you're only getting half the results just through poor programming. So you can double your results just by doubling the amount of times you train legs during the week. It's as simple as that. Um, so different muscles recover at different speeds due to their size. Bigger muscles take longer to recover. And you must program yourself gone by the muscle that takes the longest periods to recover. Um, let's talk about intensity now. Um, different people will train different muscle groups at different intensities. So let's say for example biceps versus quads. I had a really light workout on my quads and I smashed the living daylights out of my biceps. Quads might be recovered in three days, 
biceps were recovered in three days and now they both get recovered at the same time. So if you train all your muscle groups just as hard as one another, lats should take a long period of time to recover. They're the biggest muscle in your upper body. And if they're not, they're not trained smart. Not hard, smart. You've got to have brains to know how to target your lats efficiently. Um, quads should take a long time to recover. Glutes should take a long time to recover. Chest should take a long time to recover. Now, calves, biceps, tries, delts, these take you know a much faster time to recover. So if they if you train them all at the same intensity, they should all recover at different speeds based on their size. Um, now, nutrition varies on different days as well. Uh, people get a routine of eating certain things on certain days. They, they put themselves in a weekly routine. So say for example, they work late on a Thursday, they're not going to eat as much food later on in the day. So if they go training, they're going to be malnutrition for that workout. Um, so you've got to think about what you eat on certain days. That will have a very large role and a large play on your recovery periods, on, on what you train on certain days. Um, so having said that, your program must be based on the muscle that takes the longest time to recover and, that's, and, and also muscles with different sizes and different intensity. So we spoke about all that. Now the big question is, what happens if you don't? Um, if you don't rest and recover and that muscle keeps breaking down and then your body tries to recover but you don't give enough time, then you break it down again. Um, your, body's, your body just goes through hell because it's trying so hard to recover. It burns so many calories trying to recover and you just don't allow it to. Your fatigue just goes through the roof. You get more and more tired and all, all hell breaks loose. And this is what leads into overtraining. Mental fatigue. Um, your neurosensors start to shut down. Um, you won't sleep at night. Your body panics. It starts to produce adrenaline. So you want to um, make sure that you rest and recover as enough as, as possible. Now here's a great information in this video. Here comes a good bit. Here comes a fun bit that, that you all should notice. Pro bodybuilders, they are those that are really, really serious about their training. Every week their routine changes because they are aware that different muscles recover at different speeds. So let's take for example biceps. They're my, if I was to be really serious about my training um, and literally give it everything I've got, um, I would train my biceps every three days. So I'll go to my calendar and here's biceps and I'll train biceps on this day and the calendar i train biceps on that day and I'll go through and write biceps on each third day in my calendar. And then I'll look at my quads. My quads take five days to recover. So I'll go through the calendar and on each one of those days in the calendar, uh, each fifth day I'll train legs. And they individually program each individual muscle according to how long it takes. Therefore, in your routine, the muscle that takes the shortest to recover, there's no wasted time. So just say for example that in my training program, I have a five-day split because my legs take five days to recover, but my biceps only take three days to recover. If it takes three days to recover and I've got a five-day split, I'm wasting two days every program when I'm training my biceps. So by individually tra uh, programming each individual muscle, doesn't matter what routine you do, you won't have a single muscle waiting for more than a single day too long. So it's really, really important that you think about your program based on yourself as an individual. How long does it take me or take you to recover and create a program based on that? Here is a link right here to a, a video that I've just done based on programming. Um, look at that one and you'll start to learn different ways and different ideas of how to program different bodies on different days.